Hey guys, Bubble Pop Kits here. If you're in the mood for some shark, a little bit of chopping and digging, let's do this. Hey little bubble teens, welcome back to my squishy chopping block. It is Saturday and we're not chopping squishies today. We are digging, chopping for shark teeth. We got this crazy National Geo shark tooth dig it kit. I just can't wait. I've had this for a while. I never actually thought about opening it until today and super excited. And when I decided to do the shark, I was like, why not? We might as well add another one for some fun. This one is so cool. It's a crystal and gem mining adventure. I seriously do not know what's in here. Some kind of rocks and stones, but it looks super cute. Gonna chop that. Hello, are we like squishy chopping the shark tooth out of this one? Is it alive or what? And if you guys are a little familiar with these dig it kits, normally they are super hard. They're kind of like a rock or a stone but I'm gonna fix that. With this bowl of water, I'm gonna pop it in here, make it a little bit squishy so I can get my shizzies and chop at it because sometimes if you use a little stick, it could take forever. So I'm gonna get straight to the point and cut it. Come on. Bubba, what's going on with the National Geographic? Like, what's going on here? Who is that, Jaws? This is crazy. Basically, this is the box. It's a little National Geographic kit. We can excavate three genuine shark tooth fossils. I mean, that is so, so cool. And this is what we get. Ew, like, is that what it's gonna look like? Ew. We get one dig brick, three types of shark teeth. Ooh, scary. Two excavation tools, one information guide. Very informative. And the coolest part, they actually show you what you're supposed to look out for. Ooh, look at this one, it's so sharp. A sand tiger, we get the crow shark tooth, and what is that? A toda shark. Hmm, so we got three rare species of sharks going on here. I've never even heard of this kind, a toda shark, but we got to get the tooth out of here and she was going on with it. Got this stuff out of the box. Ooh, so we get this here, the shark learning guide. Very cool, I'm definitely gonna read this. I love reading this National Geographic stuff on animals. I just love it. I love watching that channel. This is all about the sharks. Ooh, shark fin soup. It's gross. Uh, it also shows you like what to look for in the dig it stone, like the teeth, and basically what they look like. Okay. So we have that one. What else do we have? These little kits always come with these little magnifiers, which is super cool because you can take a close up, see what the little details are, and some dig tools. But we're not really using these babies because I got my shishies. It's all we need. <laughs> but the most important thing here, yes, here this is. I've been wanting to see what it looked like. <gasps> it is so wild, you guys. It's got the shark. Look at those teeth. But it's so light. I mean, I don't know if something is in here or not. It is way too light. We are going to make this squishy. Drop it in some water and see what we get. Let's do it. Before we start digging this thing and chopping at it, I just want to show you how cool this is. First of all, it's almost like a cement material. Very, very light and it's got some paint. They have actually put the shark. I can't even believe it. Looks like gels. Bubba, Bubba, like what's going on? It is floating and making little bubbles. What's going on? Bubba? so hysterical. It's so light that it's actually floating. My other dig bars would just sink to the bottom when I've soaked them, but not this one. So it is super light. Crazy. It needs a little bit longer. A little bit. The shark bar has been soaking probably for about five, six minutes. I think that's all we're gonna do. I'm gonna transfer it into this little bowl so I don't mess up my table. And start chopping. Ready, Bubba, we're doing this. And whatever you do, don't chop the shark tooth. Don't. I'm <laughs> getting a little nervous. I just don't want to chop up the shark tooth. I want to keep it nice and intact. So I'm gonna have to go a little bit slow here. Ooh, it's nice and soft. Look at that. 
It's like squishy ball now. <laughs> it's super squishy. And the only way to describe it, it feels like wet sand, like wet sand near the shore. It's cool, look at that. I could just chip away at it. Gotta go easy, cause I don't wanna chop up my little sh All right, I got this much so far. It's looking pretty good. I don't think anything was in the end. Just be nice and gentle here. Ooh, I got the mouth. And hopefully we won't ruin the treasure here. I'm gonna go slow. Ooh. What is that? I don't know, Bubba, what is it? Maybe it's the Otita shock tooth. Maybe. Nope, that was a little false alarmy. There was nothing there. But I thought it was like a piece of tooth, but it wasn't. Bubba, your shishies are looking super gross right now. But I'm gonna chop the teeth. You can't see it no more. Yikes, and now the face is completely gone. I've just like ripped it off and I just can't believe we haven't found one yet. Like where are these little things hiding? Maybe they're like right in the center. That's all I could think. Hopefully I didn't miss one yet. Ooh. Bingo. Bubble, jackpot. Shock tooth, right here. Actually, I want to go super easy, so I think I may use this little tool just to like dig around it. Yes, whoa, you guys, we got it and it is intact. Look at that thing, sharp. Here we go, we have the first one and this is definitely that, what is it called again? Oh here, Otidus obliquus tooth. That is definitely it. But this thing is super sharp. Ow, black, why is it so sharp? This is just bizarre. It is so, so wild. I mean, this tooth was actually in a shark's mouth. I don't know how long ago because this kind of shark is extinct, according to that guide. And that is just unbelievable. It's so sharp. That is so, so cool. I gotta put it somewhere. I gotta save it. Love that thing. Let me rinse it off a little. Find the next one. Bubba, maybe we can make a necklace out of the shark tooth. Wow. I keep going. This is actually cooler than I thought. I mean, that is like a real deal tooth. All right, let's see. Keep going. Didn't take long. I found tooth number two. Ooh, here it is. And I think it's fully intact. We didn't chop it up yet. It's nice. No! Oh, are you serious? You just like chopped it in half. Like, really? Look at that. No, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I just broke it. Oh, this one is super, super fragile. It's different than the other one. Look, I have a piece here. But I still have a piece over here. Eee, why'd I do that? Alrighty. Oh, I did not want to do that. Oh, that's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Here it is, guys. That is the tooth. I kind of broke it in half, but it's so cool. You can see these little sharp ridges. But it's in two pieces. Eee, why did I do that? And that one was definitely the crow shark. Oh, it looks exactly like that. I think I just chopped the whole part off. There it is. Very cool. It's got a weird look to it. Inside is kind of soft. There it is. Crow shark. And here it is. This is all that's left of that bar. Hopefully the third one is in here and more hopefully I don't break it. I don't want to break it. I'll go really soft with this one. Whoop! I think it's there. Let me see. Actually, I think I'm just gonna do it with my fingers because the scissors may chop it. All right, there's nothing there. Nothing here. Ooh, I think we got it. Gotta go easy. Ooh, these are so, so, these are so fragile. Ooh, look at that one. Bubble, this one is like crazy sharp. It is the sharpest. It looks like a dagger. Watch it. Wow. Bam, there you go. We got the third one. It is all in one piece. 
It's shiny. Ooh, this one looks so cool. It is the sand tiger shark. And it looks like a tiger tooth. It really does. Looks like a thing. So, so cool. Some people dig for gold, some people dig for shark teeth. So crazy. Hey guys are curious, here is a close-up of the findings. I gave them a little rinse. We have the sand tiger shark tooth. That one is crazy. It's kind of weird. It looks like a fang and then it's got these two little pieces. So, so cool. So sharp though, I can't believe it. The middle one right here is the crow shark tooth. Now this tooth, actually it doesn't look too good as the other two, but it's kind of cool because it has these little ridges, like these little tiny little, I don't know what they are. They feel like fish scales. And the inside is really soft. The other two are more solid. And last but not least, we got this big one right here. Actually the biggest, the Otutus obliquus, and it is so cool. It's a big tooth, but it's crazy because both of these have these little side fangs. Look at that, they have these little pieces on the side. That is so odd, like I've never heard of that before. That is the back, really wild. That is just so cool. To hold something like this, I love it. That was that we started with a shark bar and we ended up with some crazy teeth i love these i'm gonna put them to the side and move on to the crystal kit Bottle, look it says easy dig it's gonna be easy thank goodness Come on. let's open up this little box and see what we're working with here see what it looks like let's get some crystals and gems this is really cool. So we get this piece right here. It is the gem guide. I guess it tells us what to look for, different kinds of stones. Right here, it's like a little key. Amethyst, we get blue calcite. Bravo geode, ooh, that is beautiful. Carnelian agate. Ooh, look at this one, a chihuahua geode. Bubble, are you serious? We need to get the chihuahua geode. Like, seriously, I want that one. This one, crazy lace agate. That's funny. Our little digging tools, which we're not going to be using. And last but not least, the dig it ball. The like most plainest dig it ball ever. It's super plain. I like the shark better. It's just like a white brick. Uh, like what is going on here? This thing is made of like flour. It is super soft. It's powdery, it's so, so weird. I have never seen a dig -it bar like this. Super messy, but I am hoping we got lots of stones and gems and crystals inside. So I'm gonna soak it just a little bit and take for some treasure. Time to soak your gem bar. Looks like a bar of soap. Whoa. Wow, and this thing is crazy. It is so crazy. Ooh, it's breaking up. Oh, I better take it out. It is bubbling and foaming. It is like the weirdest thing ever. Ooh, and I think I see some stones. We are ready to dig super fast. Ready, little treasure hunter. So I got my little glass bowl. I'm gonna pop it in and get to work. Hopefully we find something good. Chopping like all you ass. Two stones, really? Unbelievable. I just did like a corner chop on this thing, and I think I got two stones or gems, whatever these are. Wow. Ooh, that looks like a geode. Super heavy. But this thing, oh my gosh, it looks like a jelly bean or something. It's so cute and shiny. That one is so cool. Whoa. I'm just gonna put these babies to the side and then I'm gonna wash them all off and see what we have. Let's keep going. 
Bingo, you got your third. Bubble, it looks like a piece of digit, but it's not. It's like a white rock. Let me put it to the side. We got three so far. This thing is jam-packed with stones. It really, really is. Every time I chip away, I find a new one. Ooh, look at that. It's got polka dots. Bubble, I think that is called the Dalmatian stone. It looks like a Dalmatian. Keep going. I'll get that one out. It was kind of stuff in there. Just work around it. And this is the coolest material. I don't know what it is. It's almost like sand. A little bit thicker than sand. Got something. Look at that. A little one. So pretty. Ooh, that looks like a crystal. Better be a crystal bubble. Keep going. Look at this big Dalmatian. It's right here. That is a polka dot rock. Right there. Oh boy, look at this one, you guys. It is so, so cool. Probably the coolest thing I've seen in this whole entire show. It is like a rock, but it's got little polka dots. That is so, so cool. I'm gonna check that out later. Let's just get the rest of these goodies. Oh, this one. I actually think this is a crystal. It's kind of pointy, and it's kind of like clear. Hmm. another one right here this one is really tiny it feels like a piece of maybe pyrite or some kind of cement rock really gotta clean that off I could barely see what it is and I don't know if we're done no ooh, look at that that looks like a shark tooth what is it so guys, I think we cleared it. It looks like there was about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, there was eight rocks, which is amazing because this thing wasn't so big. I think it is empty. Let's wash off our treasure. See what we got here. First one up out of the bowl, we got this crazy rock here. It is speckled, it is heavy, it just looks so super cool. The back still has some sand, I can't get it out. I'm trying to chip away at it, but this side is so clear. Hey everybody, first one up out of the little bowl. They're all soaking, they are cleaning up real good. So this one I was calling a Dalmatian rock. I don't know what it really is. It looks like a puppy. It looks like 101 Dalmatians. It's got all those little speckles. The back I can't get too clean. It's still a little bit dirty. I gotta chip away at it. But the front looks really good. Let's see what this baby is. OMG. You guys, oh, I cannot believe this. It is actually called Dalmatian Jasper Ruff. It's a Dalmatian rock. I could not even believe it. That's what I was calling it as like a joke. That is the real name. Bubble, you are genius. You knew this was a Dalmatian rock before you ever knew it. Genius. And it's from Mexico. Oh, I love the first one. Let's dig up the second one. Ooh. This looks like a basic rock. And I'm looking at the list here. The only thing that I could think this is, you guys, is a geode. A little geode where you break it open and you see like a crystal. But it's solid. I can't break it open. It's super heavy though. Maybe it's this, the Crystal Canyon geode. Oh, this is a little annoying because I can't figure out what it is. It's not open so I can't see the inside but it is definitely a geode. It's way too heavy. It's super cool though, I love it. Next up we have, let's see. Ooh, look at that. Almost looks like a seashell. So guys, I'm looking at the list up and down. I cannot find this one. And this one is so, so cool. It's so pretty. It's like a glass almost, it's clear. I really like it, but I don't know what its name is. I just don't know. So, so pretty. Let's go in for the fourth. Hopefully we'll see this one on the list so we know what it is. Oh, I know this one. We got 
some fool's gold. We got a piece of pyrite. Got it right here. It is pyrite. Definitely is. And pyrite is referred to as fool's gold because it kind of looks like gold. It really looks like gold, actually. Like 50 cents to two dollars fifty. Whatever. Let's see. Let's dip on in here. Ooh. Wow. Bubble, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I wanted to find. The carnelian agate. Look how beautiful it is. It's so smooth. It's from Brazil. It's worth 50 to 250. Sass. It's pretty. Bubble teenies, the carnelian agate. I mean, I've never heard of this kind of rock or stone. I think it's a stone, but it is so, so beautiful. It's so smooth. I wish you could feel it. It's got like an orange color and little, little speckles. It is so cool. I think it's my favorite. After that Dalmatian rock, after this one right here, I think I like this one. Dalmatian. An unbroken geode. It's whole. Fool's gold. There should definitely be a few more floating around in here. I feel them. Oh, now this one was so tricky because it looked just like the dig it bar. It looked like that white sand, but it is actually a rock. It's a super pretty rock. She, what it is. And I found it right here, the ice cube calcite. And it is so funny, you guys, because that is actually what it looks like. It looks like a big old ice cube. Its origin is Mexico. And this one is 50 cents to a dollar. A little bit less than the other ones. But it is so cool. It's heavy. Paper is like all covered in water. It's starting to break apart, but we're almost finished here. Now this one is so similar to the other. It is opal. I've heard of opal before. I don't know where I've heard of that. Ooh, another one from Mexico. And it is so, so pretty. Let me see the other one. It's almost the same color. But this one is round and smooth. And this one is like, it's more rocky. It's like a crystal. Like a boat. You can see those two side by side. They are similar but completely different. I mean, this is so smooth. This one is kind of pointy. And see, I think we have one more left in here. Right there. Got the last one right here of the bunch. Wow, we got so many different ones. This is optical calcite. And the retail is a dollar to three dollars. Wow, this one, it looks like a shark tooth a little bit. And it's white and it's pointy. Whew, that was a lot of work, a lot of digging and cleaning. And after all that, my chopping block has all these little things. We got some rocks, some gems, some shark teeth. Love all of it. And that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed it. We are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys.